Hello everybody and welcome back. We are Let's Play number 6 with Mass Effect 1 and our Lucky Shepherd. We were just about to go up and talk to the council about everything that happened on Eden Prime. Um, it looks like there's some Turians up here. Baron's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall- Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Yeah, it sounds like you blew it, homie. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Wait. Maybe they'll listen to you. I wanted to talk. Can I talk more to you? All right, we got to get to that meeting. Out of my way, people. I have business. Oh, it's the transit. Yeah, why didn't it teleport me up here? Not teleport. Transit, whatever. Whatever, man. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker traumatized. is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. Yeah. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? He's got a point. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? Damn. I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You won't see the truth. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. <laughs> this meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Where's all this history? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. 
So... What's our next step? As a specter, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. He could be useful. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. <sighs> He's kind of right, though. But I want to back up Captain Anderson. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. Thank God. <laughs> I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Oh, I know him. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the sky. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Oh, that's such a tough decision. Uh, I guess the bad part is that without a second thought, that is a really tough call. Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions, but only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Now that's just... Killing innocence doesn't end wars. Oh, it that's causes... the same thing. I know how the... But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another Tell me option. about the Shadow Broker. He's twisted, broken. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Hmm. I actually have met Barlavon. Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more I want to know more specters. about the specters. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Hmm. Yeah, what about... What happens when a Spectre goes rogue? Like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Hmm. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Uh, Nihilus. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, 
do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. Uh, they sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Hmm. Tell me about Harkin again. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. <laughs> a lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well, dang. It sucks, but they're right. We didn't actually have any real evidence, besides the fact that it's our word against his. That dock worker apparently is not enough. That guy's up to something. What guy? This guy? Oh, no, I wasn't. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. Damn, Ashley. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Oh my god, just tell me. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. <laughs> I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. Well, maybe I, don't I should even be. I know who you but... are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. Cool. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Hmm. That seems fair. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay, well, let's start. Boom. There's a scan and a few credits. I like that. No, I'm waiting, Commander. What ho? Keepers. Keepers. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Yeah. I'm sorry, Rear Admiral. It looks rough. 
Sounds like we need to go down and visit Cora's den. Which I think... Oh, yep. Down here in the wards. Gentlemen's Club. Gentlemen's Club. That's him. Oh, fuck. Alright, I'm Ashley. Kaden. I'm gonna toss these suckers. good at this game. Up. Oh my god, guys, kill him, please. Some hot babes, yo. Well, guess they weren't kidding. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Wow, thanks, <laughs> Jenna. I got business here, but not with you. Okay, then. The general, okay. Commander. What do you want? The consort wanted us to go see him. What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about it? Jesus, Katie. She rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I want to say those things, but... I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't have the... See, when it's darker gray like this, that means I don't have the points in Intimidate or Charm high enough to convince him. Yeah, off you go. See you later. Feel right just leaving like this. <laughs> Don't waste your time, kid. Run away now while you still can. You need to start acting like. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am a tired, lonely, worn out soldier. You're a damn general. Quit your whining. Ha! You got balls, kid. There are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Sure. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Oh. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secret. I talked to him. I know. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Alright. Well, 
am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zeltan. That's right, He's I already no talked to Zeltan. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hmm. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women. <laughs> women are interesting. Back off, Rex. Biz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Yeah, those guys are big and scary. They're Krogan. Very tough badasses, basically. Oh, man. Do I? All right, so... Now I got a, a quick decision to make here, fellas. Um, we have the two options. Uh, we can go see Barla Bon, or we can talk to Harkin. I don't know. Harkin just sounds like such a slimy scumbag. <laughs> Investigate Saren. Yeah, we're trying. Uh, go talk to Zeltan. Sorry, consort. You know, what I'll do is I'll go back out into the Presidium. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go find Barlin Vaughn. Oh! I could have been leveling up this whole time. Alright, alright, alright. I do wanna get points in the pistol so I can unlock shotgun. But I can't even do that yet. That's my armor. Shell boost. That's equipped medium armor. I need to start getting points. I do assault training. That'll be good for now. Ashley. Assault rifles. Definitely. Caden. save and I'm going to not talk to Harkin I'm gonna go back to the Presidium probably just left those dead bodies out here isn't that something to expose him with he tried to kill me well, I don't really know how we knew there were Saren's men. Caden said it. I want to go to the embassies first. I'm going to tell my buddy Zeltan the good news. I believe they're on the left side. If not, I'll probably fast forward myself walking down the other way. <laughs> Citadel can get a little confusing on what's where. Okay, that's the door. As you can see. <laughs> yeah, they should. <laughs> oh my word. I remember where they're at. Yep, they are on the other side. Then, I'm an idiot. where my buddy's at. I'm an idiot. So I'll, I'll pass forward. Good news. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. Oh, yeah, they're I right next to the human Septimus. embassy, and the human embassy is on the right. I knew that shit. The only way he but could be careful if you're playing this for the first time in the Presidium, and... Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone 
you can discover my secret. Be a man, Zeltan. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Well, good luck Anxious getting an appointment. Request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. That's right, Din. Oh, shut up, Din. Apologetic. There's Captain Anderson. All right. We've got a few more little side missions to do. I'll probably go to the consort first. I've got a couple things to talk to her about. Then, and Barla Vaughn's over here, so we can get that done, too. Might just be a little longer of an episode. But I doubt you guys will mind. Just means it'll take longer to upload for me. These guys over here usually have something ridiculous to say. I say that as they... <laughs> don't say a damn thing. Well, oh, Keeper. And a level up, my man. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Cause I'm a G. It was a long time. You're with the Alliance. I my already talked to you. We know about your privates. We need to discuss some things, my lady. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Let's let's uh, take the high road here. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Uh, very. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss, but it drives you, makes you strong. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Hmm. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. True Give that. Order. In light of your efforts with the Elcor ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. The trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. I beg to differ. I've heard about your Remember other talents. Words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. But there's something else of yours that could give me so strength. Long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this time. Oh, yes you can. You Yeah. Damn it. Getting rejected at every turn. Not so lucky, Shepard, this time. Not so lucky. All right. That was good though. Um not really sure what that trinket's all about, but um, hopefully we'll find out later. Um, Bart Levon's just down the way here. Talk to him. He's more interesting than a drunk bastard. Corrupt cop, yeah. 
I'd rather speak with the information broker. If we ever get there. Parlavan. We have words. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? Jeez, way to be up front. You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Ah, <sighs> what's the cost? I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Good. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. Oh boy. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. I think I know him. His name's Ray. Yeah, we saw him at the bar. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. What's he doing down there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. Well, that's what you get for double-crossing people. Well, I want to thank everybody again for tuning in. We're going to stop here, and we're going to go find Rex at CSEC. And we can probably also ask about where Garrus is at, too. And we'll do all that in the next episode. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see what happens next with Lucky Shepard.